Hi guys. So last week I had kind of an episode of this but not really and I remember that it was quite a big issue for me. I want to talk about paranoid ideation and well how it presents itself in borderline personality disorder but not only because um, I think that almost every one of us has experienced some kind of paranoid ideation. An example could be like girls whispering in the hallway and you think that they're talking about you if you are in school. So well there are several disorders that can be presented with severe paranoia uh, such as schizophrenia and delusional disorder and they are the psychotic spectrum of disorders um i cannot talk about this because i have never experienced it i can guess that it gets really bad and people start thinking that um the government is spying on them or that the neighbors are spying on them or that people are plotting something against them it can be very stressful and obviously it makes your life a lot worse than it could be um so well i mean but i cannot talk about it as i said because i never experienced it on the other hand a lot of other people uh, such as people who suffer with borderline personality disorder and it's one of the diagnostic criteria for bpd can experience stress-related paranoia that is not constant and it's not as severe but it can still ruin your relationships and uh, make your life harder than it could be and well there is this vicious cycle of stress creating paranoid ideation and then it creates more stress and you kind of cannot go out of this circle if you know what i mean so last year i experienced some really severe paranoid ideation um and i will give you just some examples so that you know that it's like really ridiculous and i even understood at the time that it sounds ridiculous but something inside of you just believes it and i'm like i'm a reasonable person i usually kind of know right from wrong but back then it was really hard to not give into these thoughts and ideas so i have an extremely loving family uh that only want the best for me and i'm really lucky in that sense but last year i had this constant thoughts about how my parents are plotting something to make me suffer how i'm going to come home and they change the locks and i cannot get in here how they are plotting with my boyfriend to like make my life miserable speaking of my boyfriend i used to think that he is pretending to be nice to me and he did so much to me back then like i cannot even start explaining I was thinking that he is pretending to be nice so that he can dump me when I finally start trusting him. It was so hard. Like the people that I loved the most were the first victims of my paranoid ideation. And it would go to other people as well. But I mean, the, the people who were closest to me, like my most close relationship suffered because of that. And I had nightmares about that. And it's really sort of frustrating because in your head you know that it's not true in your head you know like in your wise mind uh, as the dialectical behavioral therapy suggests like you know that this is just your illness creeping into your brain and making you think so think all these things but it's it's hard to resist it yeah um I thought that I will share with you some uh, tips on how to avoid this and if you already are in this paranoid thinking and ideation that maybe you can help yourself a little bit. Well, if you have stress-related paranoia, which is not as uncommon 
as I said, many people, even mentally healthy people who don't have um, any diagnosis or any disorders, um, they can still present it in the times of stress. So the first thing is to reduce stress and you can reduce stress by being mindful, by deep breathing. You have to breathe with your belly so uh, your chest shouldn't move but only your belly and if you do uh, several inhales and exhales like this, like really slowly, you have to breathe in and bring, breathe out, um, it will help you kind of get your stress levels down. Another thing I always say that uh, meditation is a very good answer to uh, almost any problem because all of the answers lie within and you can just uh, meditate on the situation like if something is bothering you you can just sit there and breathe and try to not think about it but let your thoughts flow and see what it is that is bothering you and maybe you will find the answer inside yourself and maybe you will see that actually nothing bad is happening and yoga of course i mean you have to move your body and yoga combines this breathing and um, physical exercise and also um, it can help you relax and kind of be in the moment and then of course I mean if it is ruining your life if you are really suffering with this paranoid thinking please go get professional help because there is no shame in that and not everything you can sort out by yourself so sometimes you just need to um, get help from a professional uh you have to know your triggers so there are usually some things that trigger your stress response and uh this in turn triggers your uh paranoia so you need to know uh the triggers that you have um and learn to give people benefit of the doubt so if the person has never done anything to harm you and suddenly you are completely sure that they are after you or that they are plotting against you just think about it and think like did they really give me any reason to suspect this or is it just me who uh, created this inside my own head uh so try to yeah unless it is proven there is most likely another explanation to whatever you have in your head i hope that you don't have this problem ever but if you do, then please um, seek help. Try to kind of help yourself. I hope that this video was somewhat informative. If you have any more questions, I'm always glad to read them down below. And uh, have a great day, you guys. And I love you very much. Be nice humans. Bye.